No degree in graphic design, no Photoshop, not a problem. In this video, I'm gonna share the secret that I use or the tool that I use uh, across all social media for all graphic design work. The most important thing that I do with these that I wanna discuss in this video is how I actually create my YouTube custom thumbnails. You wouldn't think about it, but a YouTube custom thumbnail is a small piece that makes a big difference. Once I started making my own custom thumbnails and had a distinct brand across all platforms, it started to change everything. What a custom thumbnail does is it makes you relatable, it makes you noticeable, people see the consistency, and it actually just really generates more views, more followers, more subscribers, more everything. It's actually a really small thing that you can do that makes a really big difference. And I'm almost willing to guarantee you're gonna start seeing immediate results. I used to use a couple different tools to do this. Um, right now I have it just down to one tool and I'm gonna share that with you. It's actually Canva, canva.com. But I used to collaborate, use a couple different things and kind of mesh them together and it worked out well. But right now, everything that Canva offers and it's free, um, I can do it all right on canva.com. Canva is not only free, but it's also a great robust tool and it has different templates and different things that you can choose from. And honestly, it's almost changing daily at this. So either way, you can do like I used to do and mash a couple together and make it work and make it really good. Or you can just use this one tool and I guarantee it's gonna make your life so much easier. So. Uh, now, let's jump into my computer and I'll show you exactly what I do and how I do it. Alright guys, here we are. We are in Canva.com and there's a couple different ways you can go about this. You can do YouTube thumbnail right here. You can go up to create a design and you can grab it from here. Either way, it really makes no difference. As you can see, my last couple of designs have been um, in YouTube, so this is a regular thing that I'm on, that I'm doing quite often. So. And uh, as far as, here's the templates that I mentioned earlier, you can go through, there's templates for days if you really want. Like I said, they're always putting new ones in there. If you find a consistent one that you like, great. I'm just gonna basically grab one of the first ones that I see that I know we can modify. Uh, I'm just gonna throw a template in there. Obviously this isn't me, uh, this isn't the color scheme that I want, but that is all uh, easily changed. So, um, I'm going to start off by just ditching this picture because we're not going to want that. Ditch that picture and uh, we'll mess with the color right away. I usually do kind of a blackish theme is kind of what, what I like to go with. Uh, so, once we have that in there, we're just going to upload an image. Grab an image from the, from the video that we just took. Whoops. Let's get into here. And as you can kind of tell, this is something that we're probably going to want to change. Um, position. We can usually position this more so the way that we want it. But we'll bring in that image first. And I don't know why it does this, but um, doesn't really have the sizing that we want, but we can get it pretty close. So you can tell we'll put them in there. We, I'm thinking that we'll probably want to flip this um, just so we can kind of work with this a little bit. And as you can see, these are all able to modify. Let's see if we can get this background here too. We're just gonna make that black as well. give these guys something to look at. Okay, and what we are just going to call this is uh, how to 
to make a custom thumbnail or YouTube. And obviously we want this all to fit, so we're just gonna start playing around with it a little bit and see how things turn out. And we can move all this. I'm not gonna use her name, obviously. We can get rid of that. Gotta be a little bit smaller yet. Boom. That's the ticket, I think. And then I usually like to go with a different type of color. And what I'm gonna try to do here is leave a little bit of room for other things too. We can throw some elements in here. And there's different things you can do. This one's free. This is one that I typically will use once in a while. We can just resize that down too. Um, and you'll notice that these icons do change from time to time. Uh, back in the day, you used to be able to use YouTube ones on here. They're cracking down a little bit more. And then, I don't know, why don't we just get creative and uh, let's see if we can find a image of a thumb. Everyone likes a good thumb, right? Other deal, you can modify these things too. So feel free to play with these a little bit. I'm not sure if I'm really set on that 100%, but uh, yeah. So yeah, that's it. And then once you want, once you go here, this is just obviously what it was called beforehand. So. I'm just gonna call it the same thing. That's another thing you wanna do. It's another thing that YouTube does like is if you name your video and your thumbnail the same thing, it, it just jives. It actually helps. YouTube is extremely smart, but this does help it pick up. That way, with whatever you're trying to rank for, it, it notices exactly what you're doing and it'll give you a little bit more credit for doing things like this. So um, we'll just call it the same thing. How to make And then all you have to do for this is just download it to your computer. And it's going to give you these options too. You can do the transparent background depending on what you're doing with this. Uh, lower quality. I usually just kind of go with the standard here. I've never had a problem with it. So you can fit these to whatever you think your quality needs to be. I usually just leave it at default and download. So what we're going to do is just upload this video, we're going to go to YouTube and I'm just going to show you on a different video, since I don't have this one done and you're watching me do it, um, I'm just going to scroll down to YouTube anywhere and just grab one of these, uh, did, he, did our party checklist. Now what we're going to want to do with this one is, for the thumbnail, is custom thumbnail. What we want to do is just hit that custom thumbnail that we just made, depending on where you saved it at, desktop, mine usually goes to my downloads folder. And then once we get to the downloads folder, we just want to go to, uh, there we go, here it is, how to make a custom YouTube. Just wanna open that up, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna open up and you'll see it create right here. So, pretty quick, pretty easy. Uh, it's gonna help you definitely rank a lot better. It's gonna help you scale this video. So I recommend doing these YouTube thumbnails whenever. Uh, once you're up here, you just do save, and I'll save it to this one. I'm not too worried about this video, so I'm not trying to rank or anything for the, for the video that I just uploaded the thumbnail to, but I'm gonna do the same process when I come back, and uh, same thing where I just actually upload that to the video that I'm doing now. So keep that in mind, that's what you're gonna to wanna to do. Now that we had that process done, uh, where I'm actually showing you how to make the thumbnail and then actually uploading it too. So keep in mind, you can do this for any video that you wanna make a thumbnail for going forward, or if there's any old ones you wanna go back to, you can always adjust the thumbnail too. So keep in mind, uh, there's options out there, you can adjust it if you want to. If you found this video valuable in any way, feel free to share it with your friends, share it on any platform that you'd like. Uh, either way, hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell, that way you're informed every time that new videos come out. And also, if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. That I am currently shooting these videos every Thursday, so if you 
do want to catch the next one live, feel free to tune in on Thursday. Uh, if you have any type of requests or if you want me to take a look at any of your videos, uh, feel free to send them over. I'm more than happy to take a look at them and I'll give you any input that I can. I'm open to and I'd appreciate any comments, so feel free to leave those below. And thank you so much for tuning in. Once again, this is Anthony Hendrickson. We'll see you on the next video. Okay, bye-bye.